Hey there internets, I'm Michael and this is Two Can Play That Game, bringing you the finale to our playthrough of Blood Rage by Call Mini or Not. So let's take it to the table. We start our third age the same as all the others with our God's Gifts phase. So eight cards to each player and then the rest go back unseen. And the initial eight cards I have are Alfheim Quest, uh, Masters in Arms, which means, ooh, pairs of warriors uh, each count as, will count as a total of six. So that could be really good, because I've got, how many, I've got all eight of my warriors out. Ooh, uh, what else have we got? Um, Frost Giant, ooh, he's nice, big, big guy. I don't know how useful he is for me though, because my stats are quite high, and he just allows you to gain the pillage bonus again. Uh, Odin's Judgment, gain two glory for each figure destroyed in the battle, plus two, that could be useful. Uh, yellow Mannheim quest, uh, four's Ascension, plus one battle card, if you win, gain free glory and free rage. Eternal Dragons, a uh, ship upgrade, uh, 12 glory if it's destroyed, well it's only four more than I've got. And Soldier of Hell, uh, strength free but costs nothing to upgrade or invade. Well, see this quest's tempting because I've got one area locked down for grey, so that's guaranteed nine glory, so I'll take that. And I like the look of that because I've got so many, yeah, they might come back around. So yeah, that'll be my first two. And the six that she gives me are... Tears Rage, a battle card, Loki's Poison, a uh, battle card, and if I lose, I take the winner's cards. Um, Frigga's Domain, pay one Rage to invade with a figure from Valhalla. And a Leader Upgrade to raise all clan stats if you successfully pillage. Uh, we've got a quest for having four figures in Valhalla, and then a quest for having blue. I think I'll go for the Valhalla quest. And then this one's not gonna cost me anything. Might help if I have people die, I don't want to. And then my final four. So picking two of these. Ugh. Um, so I guess I'll take these two battle cards, because I'm short on battle cards. And so, on to our action. So it's me to start, and I'm going to start by playing my warrior upgrade, which is going to cost me one, just to beef up all my warriors I've got on the board there. And then for Pixels Go, she's going to declare a pillage in Elvagar here. I really want to win this, so let's see what we've got. I'm on the left and Pixel on the right. Ah, uh, so I played plus six, so that puts me at 12. Good luck beating that Pixel. And ah, uh, she played Hemdal's Watch. Discard all revealed cards, gain glory equal to the total strength revealed, then play new cards. So she'll gain six glory and that goes away okay um well i mean i've still got a lot of power there I, i've still got a good chance of winning i've not got many battle cards left but th this this will work out nicely i think so here we go new cards and ah so i played a plus two so that puts me to eight but she played plus six putting her to nine. So yeah, she wins. Um, but I get to keep my battle card at least and she loses hers. And she will gain five glory for winning the battle. And she'll get to increase her axes. So it is my turn and I'm going to declare a pillage on Yggdrasil while I still have my strength of numbers. Pixel's not going to move anyone in. 
So do I want to move anyone? No, so I will pillage. Um, I'm kind of maxed out there, so that didn't actually do me much good. Now it's Pixel's go. And Pixel's gonna invade with her leader down in Utgard here. I'm then gonna pay two rage to invade with my ship into the ford next to Utgard. Pixel's then going to pay two rage to invade with her Valkyrie, joining the rest of her guys in Elvengar here. My go, I've only got the one figure left, my uh, leader here. So I am going to do an invade with my leader, which will be free. And he'll go in Elvagar here. And Pixel on her turn is going to pillage Utgard. There's no spaces for call to arms to happen. So we just pick our battle cards. Um, we're equal on strength, so I think I'm just going to go for my strongest one. And fingers crossed it's enough. So let's see what we have. Ah, okay. So this isn't too bad because I'm still going to gain glory for every figure destroyed. So I lose my guys because she had more strength but I gain 8 glory for my ship dying anyway plus 2 for each of these so that's 12 glory and I get to keep my card and Pixel gains 6 glory for beating me and then she'll get to increase her horns and she loses her card for winning so on my go I am going to play a clan upgrade, Frigga's Domain. So I may pay one rage to invade with a unit from Valhalla if I want. And then Pixel is going to pay two rage to upgrade her ship. So she'll gain 12 glory when her ship gets destroyed and of course that means she invades with it and she's going to go into this fjord right here next to Elvagar and now it's my go now I've managed to get the four figures I need in Valhalla for this quest but I could pull one out by paying one rage now the reason I'm considering doing this is because I could pull my ship out and put it so it dies in Ragnarok and that would gain me 12 glory compared to this gaining me 11 glory. So I think I will do that. I will pay one rage to invade with my ship from Valhalla. So that will join Pixel's ship there in the Ford. Then Pixel on her go is going to play a quest. And there's not much I can now do either. Um, so I'm going to play a quest too. And Pixel's going to play another quest. And I might as well play that quest. Does no good. So things very much wrapping up here. Pixel going to play clan upgrade, costing her two, which will double the glory award for quests you complete. And the only thing left I can do is pillage here, which gains me nothing because my axes are maxed. And Pixel, with nothing left to do, is going to pass, zeroing her rage. And I don't want to be left out, so despite the fact that I've got eight rage left here, I have nothing to do with it, so I will also be passing. And that is the end of the actions. We move on to discarding all of our cards. So Pixel didn't have any left, I just had two battle cards, which will go there. Then our quests. I will start with mine as I'm first player. And I had two quests. The Glorious Death I failed, I only had three figures in Valhalla. And Alfem, let's see, do I have the most in a grey province? Yes, I do. Over in Gimli here, I have all the strength. So that'll get me nine glory. And I would get to raise a clan stat, but they're all maxed. Then Pixel, who will be doubling her glory because of her upgrade, 
has Mannheim and Jotheim. So blue and yellow, let's have a look. Well, she has Utgard here. She's got four strength in it. She's the only one. So she has done that. So that's 18 glory. And Mannheim, well, over in the yellow here, I have five strength and she has seven. So she's done that as well, which is another 18. And she gets to raise two of her clan stats. So she's gonna raise a rage and also her horns, putting everything into the plus 10 mark. And on to our final Ragnarok. So it'll be four glory for me for each figure and eight for Pixel. <laughs> so bye bye Elvagar. So I get four apiece, uh, plus eight for my ship. So that's 16 for me. Then Pixel here is getting 12 for a ship being destroyed, plus eight each. She's got four times eight is 32, plus 12 is 44. Ouch. Wow, that was a big, big jump there. Now we release from Valhalla. No one's gaining anything for that. All that's left is our final bonus points from our stats. I have maxed out mine, which will be 60 points for me. Currently I'm here on 76, so an extra 60 points will put me to 136. So I've just managed here to just slip past Pixel, but she's not done her bonus points yet. Now hers weren't maxed out though, but she is still gaining 30 glory. So she's gonna be <laughs> nearly 30 ahead of me. She's gonna, so end scores, pixel 163, and I'm on 136. So pixel wins. And that is Blood Rage. I do hope that you've enjoyed this video. Of course, if you have enjoyed it, please do check out the rest of the videos on the channel, subscribe to the channel, and share it with your friends and family. And also take a look at us on social media. We're on Facebook and also on Twitter. And as always, thanks for watching and bye for now.